Hello. So in this video, we're going to talk about protecting the van from rust. Now, this is largely going to focus on removing rust on the interior of the van. And then in the next video, we're going to focus on the exterior, including sealing. So after sweeping out all the dirt and wiping everything down with methylated spirits to take it back to a nice clean surface, this is the rust I was left with some really big patches that had clearly been created by water coming in from the ramp holes and needed additional reinforcement and there were a few rusty patches on the roof where clearly something had banged against it and caused a bit of scratching opened some bare metal and you know had since rusted and so this van required a fair bit of work the first job however was to get it all brushed away I gave myself a few options when doing this. The first one was this weird kind of abrasive flappy wheel sort of thing that kind of worked, but it wasn't actually that good. I also attempted to use a wire brush on an angle grinder, which I'd heard good things about, but it didn't really end up doing that much. And there's also this abrasive disc thing that's meant to be used on angle grinders, which was pretty good, but it degraded really quickly and I would have had to purchase loads of them to do the van. And so by far, the best thing to use at the end of it happened to be this twisted wire brush. It was removing material very quickly, very easily. I would say the only thing to be cautious about is that I have a pretty powerful 18 volt drill at my disposal, whereas a smaller, less powerful drill might struggle with this much abuse. So if you're planning on following this, maybe just give yourself a few other options. So it gets to a point with the rust removal where you've got rid of all the large patches and so you start focusing on the medium patches and then you get rid of the medium ones and you start focusing on the small ones and then you get rid of the small so you focus on the really small ones and then you get rid of the really small ones and then you focus on the really, really... And it basically just keeps going on. At some point you need to cut your losses and be like, right, I'm pretty sure that is everything gone. I need to stop being so pedantic about this. I definitely went very overkill with this but seeing as all of this is going to be covered up in cladding it definitely pays off to make sure that every last bit is removed so it doesn't grow in hidden areas without you realizing over the years. But anyway, let's move on to the next stage. Now, despite that monologue about getting rid of every last bit of rust, inevitably there were still areas remaining that the drill brush just couldn't quite reach. And so I needed to resort to what's called a rust stabilizer. Don't ask me how it works chemically. All I know is that it's blue, you paint it on a bit of rust, and then it turns it sort of a blacky purple color. And apparently that stabilizes it. It's very good for areas you can't quite reach and also going over areas you have already brushed just for an extra bit of peace of mind. And to make sure we gave this rust a proper left, right, good night, the next preventative measure was to cover it in red oxide paint. This stuff has two advantages. Firstly, it's got a rust inhibitor in it, which will kill and prevent rust from spreading. And secondly, the red paint makes it really obvious to see the areas that you've hit, which really pays off for the next stage, which is a final coat of white hammerite paint. Now, hammerite is a very hard wearing metal paint and it's actually marketed as being able to be applied straight onto rusty metal and has a built-in primer as well. Now, while that may be true, that doesn't mean you shouldn't go through the steps I've just gone through. Physically removing the rust and then stabilizing the rust with chemical treatment and then painting over that with a specific metal primer are all things you should be doing. I would never rely on a single method of attack and putting all of my trust in the hammerite alone. And that wraps up the rust removal within the now obviously we didn't address problems like filling these holes in the floor and so we'll be doing that in the next episode when we sort out the issue of sealing the exterior of the van. I'll see you then.